Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be modeling the Villa Vals in Revit. Now this is quite an interesting project and if you want to learn more about this building I left a link in the description to the Arc Daily article on this object. So I will be modeling first the site because this project is all about the site. Then we'll poke a hole in that site and we'll model the walls and cut them so they look quite nice and they are basically blended in the site. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like these every day. Okay so here I am in Revit so I'm going to be using the architectural template for this one and first I'm just going to set the units to meters so just type in UN I'm going to change it to meters, OK. And first, as you can see here in this section, it's quite a steep hill that this building is on. So I'm first just going to create a couple of grids. And they're going to be at 10 meters apart. So let's just place them at 10 meters. OK, now once I have these two, I can go into site plan. And here we can see them. And I can go to massing and site to create our topo surface or our terrain basically. So I'm just going to go topo and here you can see I'm just going to place a few points on this here grid line. Uh, I missed on this one. Let's just move it there. Okay and these are all going to be at elevation 0. Now I'm going to select them all and copy them from this to this here basically grid line. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to put them at elevation 10. So we'll have a 45 degree angle of basically slope. Then I'm going to select all of these again and copy them over here. And I'm going to select all of these and copy them basically a bit down. So I'll just select these and let's put them at I don't know like 13 meters. And for these over here, I'm just going to select them and place them at, I don't know, minus 3. Okay, once that's completed, we can go into 3D to see how that looks like. Yeah, that looks about, about right. Now, of course, you can edit this and make it more uneven, but in the interest of time, let's just keep it simple. So I'm just going to hit OK to finish this topo surface. Then I'm going to go back to site. And here I now need to poke a hole basically where our building will be. So I'm going to go to building pad. And first I'm just going to make one line going from one grid line to this to another. And then I'm going to create a circle going from the middle of it to the end. So we know the circle is basically touching both of these grid lines. So I can now hit enter. And here we have our building pad. Now I'm going to jump back into 3D again and I'm just going to select this over here building pad and for the material let's just turn it to concrete just to make it look more realistic. Let's go here to home, Autodesk, concrete, let's do this one. OK, OK, apply, OK. So now we have basically a concrete building pad. Now we can model the actual wall. So I'm going to go back to site plan and well, let's just go into 3D for a second. Yeah, I'm going to make this not at level 1, I'm just going to make it a bit down. So I'm just going to make it go minus 1. So yeah, that, that looks better. We need that ridge over here. And if I go into east elevation, here you can see this is the top of our building. So let's change this level to at 10 meters to be at the top of the building. And let's move this one down to be at level 1, which will be minus 1. OK, and then we can bring this up at 0. Yeah, now it looks right. So I'm going to go back into 3D. Yeah, that looks right. So I'm going to go to site plan. And now let's do the walls. Or we can do the walls at level 1. But at site plan you can see the site, so it's easier. So I'm just going to go to architecture, wall, and then before we draw the wall, you can see we, it's quite hard to find the center of this circle. So you can go to annotate and use a detail line again to go from one side to another. 
and here you can find the center of that detail line let's make it more obvious so this is the center and now we can go back into architecture wall let's use the generic 200 go circle and here just change this from location line from wall center line to finish face exterior or interior even better and now start from the center and finish just tap enter and finish here okay now we can delete these lines we don't really need them anymore and now we have our wall so if we go into 3d and select this wall you can see it's not going all the way up because it's unconnected and I'll leave it at unconnected I'll just type in 11 meters over here I want it to go maybe a little above this yeah let's make it higher let's do 12 meters yeah that looks right and now we'll just go to trim it in place so I'm going to go back to site plan and here I'll just create a reference plane so select reference plane or RP for shortcut and let's name this void plane now once that's completed we can go again back to east elevation and now we can go here to component and model in place now I'm just going to be using the generic model go let's call it void and now I'm going to create a void so just void extrusion and for the work plane go select by name and I'm going to choose this void plane so I'm just going to type in OK and let's try to follow this line basically of the site and maybe move it out a little bit and let's just now close it up so make sure that it's going around the whole wall make it go down a bit and let's trim and extend this into place okay now we just hit enter go into 3d it looks kinda like that and now you have these grips over here and we can extend this out and it's not cutting the wall so you need to go here to cut geometry select wall select this again select wall select our void and go finish model and now as you can see here we have our wall now we can select this wall let's select both of them and go edit type and let's change the material to some I don't know some stone let's see what Revit offers us I don't know this maybe is closest to the original building so I'm just going to apply that okay and let's add some doors and windows so I'm going to go to architecture door and let's load the family I want basically a door that has some windows in it let's see if there yeah let's do this one I don't know something like that put one there one there maybe and then let's add some windows and as you can remember from the from the picture it has kinda it's quirky it has a bunch of these weird windows so let's try to mimic that so I'm just going to place a few of them like this okay so that's pretty much it let's see how it looks like in realistic yeah you can see this material over here is just looks like dirt so let's search for some grass material so I'm going to go grass and I like to use this plant material rather than the grass it's a bit lighter it looks nicer so I'm just going to go apply OK and there you go so you basically get the point that's how you model this villa in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day